Hello everyone, Gabriel here again, and today we are going to learn how to do barcode scanning. So, in order to start scanning our barcodes, we come here to the new batch button, we create a new job for that batch, let's call it barcode job 1, there we go, next, we are doing barcode reading, so let's just use the barcode reading, let's deselect those two options, we don't need them, so let's just hit next. And we are only doing single image documents. We are going to do a multi-image documents tutorial in, a, in the future. So we just hit next. And now we have the fields. We don't want the invoice fields. Those are very specific fields. So we just come here to the generic fields. We are going to use only the barcode reading and the scan date from the, those fields. So we just click select and remove each of those fields we are not going to use and hit next we want to output it to the disk on a pdf file and then hit next and let's make sure everything we need is very good on that window we are good so let's just click finish now let's create our first first batch of files let's call it barcode batch one there we go here create batch now we are ready to start getting our files ready so when you're doing barcodes we want to import only the first one so we are going to drag and drop it usually you would just use the scan options here and then the the process here is a little bit different so we just drag and drop the file we don't need pdf text so we will just we will just unselect it and let's leave it on auto detect because uh, that will get the best possible options for that document so we just hit ok at this time the document has been scanned and you can see here the barcode is right here we need to make sure one thing is right you come here you can click on this little button here or just right click the field and field properties it will open its properties here you need to make sure the obligatory nature is set to mandatory so when the program fails to scan in one of our files we know it it will show here instead of okay it will show across a red symbol we also would like to use for our uh, folder structure later on, uh, we want to add a new data field. We want to have the last four digits of the barcode. So let's just create a new field called barcode and let's click OK. You can see now we have a new field here. First thing we're going to do is configure it. Again, you can click on that symbol, field properties. And now we are going to change it the field type that will be a barcode reading and then you have to configure it so on the barcode field configuration you just hit that button here we want to use the code we already have that code here and just use part of it you don't need the whole code you just want part of it and we can just highlight what part of it we want you can use the last four, last five, only the last one, whatever you want. We will select the last four digits and then hit OK. Now we have a new, uh, a new field with only the last four digits of the barcode. We also want to make sure that the obligatory nature is mandatory. So the program shows us when it's missing. Here you have. And before we start importing our other files, we will come to the barcode read button here we click it and then barcode read settings one so just click here and it will show you that window you can see the program knows what kind of code it is and can read it read the code here we know it's a code 128 so in order to reduce scanning time we will just deselect all other codes we don't need them in any other case if you had two kinds of barcodes you would have to select it here we also know that 
it goes it has 22 characters so we just select 22 here and 22 here all of that will help reduce the scanning type for each the stand scanning time for each document we don't need uh, those other options just leave them like they are we will be doing a tutorial on that later and everything is good so we just hit ok that will ask us to reprocess all the documents we can say yes and now you can see everything's good we have the scan date the barcode reading and the barcode number and the last four digits now we are ready to import the other files so we just drag and drop them here or you, or you can scan them and then hit yes that will do auto detect we also have a very important setting here you have the apply to the next file if you just hit ok it will import the next file and then ask about the next one we don't want that we just want to import them all without having to click ok so we just check that box and then hit ok that will automatically import all of our files now you can see all of the files are imported and read you can see here no information is missing there are no red fields here so we are good to go the next step is exporting our files we want to make sure we export them on a very specific folder structure using the barcodes for the name of the file and then the barcode and for the folder structure of the file so we just come here to the export patch button that will show up that window and we want to make sure the file system export selected you can have other exports here we just want the file system and we have we want to make sure now the the folder structure is correct for our document so in order to change uh, how the, docu the documents will be exported we come here to that options button we click it and there we go we want to make sure the output directory is the way we want you can name your files uh, you can name your directory structure with many of those variables or you can just use a, a fixed name more on that on a later tutorial for make, making the folder structure correct the way we want it with the last four digits we just click this button here the, those three dots here you click it click it and let's look for the last four digits it's the barcode field so we just click on the barcode field and there we have it you have to double click so in order for it to show up so we don't need two we just need one you can see the preview here and then the just hit ok now we are almost ready to go hit ok again and now you have it you can see the 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 directory structure is very organized by the last four digits and we are ready to export now so we just did hit export now and wait for the files to to finish exporting after you finish exporting you will see you have this window you just click on that plus button here to open the, the export and then let's just look at one of them just select any one of them and click click open folder and then you can see the folder structure just we just created you have chrono scan barcode job barcode batch i actually wrote it wrong here and you can see the files are all divided by their last four digits on the barcode reading so we did a successful job so we are going to meet on the next tutorial bye bye